everyone i am dr adesh deep and today we are going to discuss about insect pests of vegetables throughout the world vegetables are an important element of human diet providing a vital source of carbohydrates vitamins and minerals many types of insects have the potential to damage vegetable crops various grasshoppers weevils beetles certain flies and small insects like thrips some larvae can cause significant damage among the most common types of harmful insects are lepidoptera which includes moths and butterflies and the homoptera which includes aphids and leaf hoppers damage caused by moth larvae often consists of rag jute leaf edges or holes in the leaves homopterian insects like aphids are often difficult to see without a magnifying lens but the damage can be recognized by yellow speckles accompanied by the sticky film on the leaf surfaces other insects cause various types of damage including defoliation or stem and fruit tunneling when you are investigating insect damage look for the weak or the stunted plant with damaged leaves or fruit check the base of the plant near the ground and check the undersides of the leaves for insects and insect eggs often the best time to spot insects in the process of feeding is at dusk or in the early morning many insects are beneficial either for crop pollination or as predators of nuisance insects so never use pesticides on an insect you cannot identify this lecture helps you in identification distribution habits mode of damage and control of some important vegetable pests after completing the chapter you will be able to know about taxonomic status identification habits life cycle damage caused and control of the red pumpkin beetle and also about taxonomic status habits and damage caused by the pumpkin fruit fly vegetable mite and hadda beetle so let us start one by one in detail let us have a look on the insect pests of vegetables which we are going to study in this lecture so here first is red pumpkin beetle in the second picture you can see the pumpkin fruit fly and in third picture the vegetable mite and the last one is of hadda beetle so these are the four important pest of vegetable which we are going to study today let me tell you about the zoological name of these insect pests Zoological name of red pumpkin beetle is Olecophora favicollis. The pumpkin fruit fly is known as Dacus cucurbiti. The vegetable mite is known as Tetraninchus tilarius. And zoological name of hadda beetle is Epilacna viginti octopunctata. So first of all we will study the red pumpkin beetle as i have told you earlier that its zoological name is olecophora favicollis but it is known by another name that is raphidopelpa favicollis so both the name are correct as far as systematic position is concerned it belongs to class insecta order coleoptera family Chrysomelidae, genus Olecophora, and species is Favicollis. Regarding the distribution, this beetle is widely distributed throughout Asia, Africa, Australia, and Southern Europe. In India, it is a serious pest in northwestern part, so it occurs in northern states like Punjab, Haryana, and Uttar Pradesh. It is a serious pest of cucurbitaceous vegetables. So when we talk about the host plants, this beetle has a special preference for the leaves of cucurbit plants like gourd, pumpkin, turai, 
ਕੁਕੰਬਰ ਟਿੰਡਾ ਮੈਲਨ ਵਾਟਰਮੈਲਨ ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਦ ਬਿਟਰ ਗੋਡ ਵਿਚ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਮਨਲੀ ਨੋਨ ਐਸ ਕਰੇਲਾ ਔਨ ਵਿਚ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਨਾਟ ਬੀਨ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਡ ਟੂ ਫੀਡ ਲੈਟ ਅਸ ਸੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਹੈਬਿਟਸ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਬੀਟਲ ਦੀਸ ਬੀਟਲਸ ਹੈਵ ਬਾਈਟਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਚੀਕ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਮਾਊਥ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਅਡਲਟ ਇਨਸੈਕਟ ਕਾਜ਼ ਮੇਨ ਡੈਮੇਜ ਟੂ ਦ ਕ੍ਰੋਪ especially in april and may in winters from november to february the adult beetles hibernate under the weeds bushes and grasses this overwintering population becomes active and comes out from its hiding places as soon as environment begins to warm up hatching of the eggs gets adversely affected if the soil surface gets dry after egg laying also the excess of moisture adversely affects the hatching regarding the general appearance or its identification the adult beetles are oblong or oval in shape it measures about 5 to 8 mm in length and about 4 mm wide or breadth it has bright orange red body with black under surface so dorsal side is bright red and abdomen is black in color the abdominal region is covered with whitish soft hairs its antennae are filiform and fairly long the newly hatched beetles are yellow in color which later turn into orange red it has biting and chewing type of mouth parts its tarsi is four segmented and third segment is enlarged to form the kidney shaped pad now the life cycle life cycle of this beetle comprises four stages egg larva which is grub in this case and pupa and then adult the whole life cycle is completed in 20 to 40 days and five overlapping generations are recorded from march to october as i have told you earlier that adult beetles hibernate from november to february in groups under the dry weeds bushes grasses and plant remnants and this overwintering population becomes active and comes out from its hiding places as season warms up in the beginning of march at this time the spring crops of cucurbit vegetables are in the process of germination and the overwintering population of the red pumpkin beetle finds the young cucurbit seedlings so breeding actively starts at this stage adult mate and female lays 60 to 300 oval and yellowish pink eggs in the moist soil near the base of the host plants the female lay eggs singly or in a small cluster of 8 to 9 in the moist soil egg laying does not take place if the soil surface has become dry after 6 to 15 days of incubation period eggs are hatched into grubs which is the larval stage the incubation period depends on the environmental temperature and humidity the newly hatched grubs are creamy yellow in color and are provided with a brown head and prothorax newly hatched grubs are quite active as they remain below the soil surface they start feeding on roots underground stem of the creeper old fallen leaves and fruits of their host plant lying in contact with the soil after 12 to 25 days they attain full grown grub stage by passing through four molds and now full grown grubs move in the soil and get pupated in smooth thick walled oval and waterproof earthen chambers in the soil at the depth of about 1 cm so fully grown larva makes a tunnel into the soil here it prepares an oval chamber for the 
pubation. Pupa is 7.5 mm in length and 3.5 mm in width and pale white in color. The pupil period may vary from about 1 to 3 weeks and after the pupil period young beetles emerge out. The adults start feeding and reproduce 7 days after the emergence. So they start egg laying after 7 days of emergence. Adults live for over a month and full life cycle may take from about 4 to 8 weeks. In this slide you can see the complete life cycle of Olecophora foveicollis. Again you can see here the adult female after mating lays eggs in soil around the host plant. Eggs are spherical in shape and yellowish pink in color. These are laid to the depth of 25 mm near the plant and a single female lays up to 300 eggs during its lifetime. The egg may be laid singly or in the small clusters. And after the incubation period of 6 to 15 days, depending upon the environment, eggs are hatched into grubs. And upon hatching the eggs into grubs, the newly hatched grubs start bore into roots, stem, old fallen leaves and fruits of their host plant. They undergo four molds to become fully grown. At the end of the every instar, the grub or larvae enter the soil to mold and come out thereafter to feed again. And at the end of last instar, this full grown larvae makes a tunnel into the soil and then prepares an oval chamber for pupation. And pupal period varies from about 1 to 3 weeks and after pupal period young beetles emerge out and the life cycle is completed. Here in this video you can see the adult. This is the adult beetle. These are the damaged leaves. These are the grubs. You can see in this video when you dig out near the roots you can find out some of the grubs. These are creamy yellow in color. These grubs feed on the roots and underground stem of the host plant and then pupate in the earthen chamber and emerges out as adult. Regarding the damage, the adult beetles as well as grubs both are destructive stages. Adult beetles feed on leaves, flowers and buds of the younger plants and the grubs feed on roots, underground stem and bore into the fruits. The infested roots and the underground stem may rot due to the infection by the saprophytic fungi. So primary damage is caused by the grubs and secondary damage is caused by the fungi. The commencement of their activity after winter generally corresponds with the early growing season of the spring crop of cucurbit vegetables. And the damage caused to the young seedlings is often so severe that the crop has to be at time sown several times. The extent of damage is highest in the month of March and April and if the attack is severe, the plant are found completely defoliated. The young and smaller fruits of the infested crop may dry up, whereas mature fruits become unfit for human consumption. This damage you can see in this video that adult beetles feed voraciously on leaves, making irregular holes in the leaf lamina. The Olecophora foveicollis prefers to feed on young leaves at cotyledon stage and so sometimes it becomes very difficult to raise the seedlings and if the plant is fully grown the adult insect feed on the leaves of fully grown plants by scrapping off the chlorophyll and giving the leaf a nut like appearance the attacked plants may wither away making it necessary to re-sow the crop 
Young and small fruits of the infested creepers may dry up while the bigger and mature fruits become unfit for the human consumption. You can see in this slide. Now how to manage this beetle? As insects pupate in the soil, deep plowing should be done to kill the grubs and pupae. Practice of early sowing so that the plant passes the cotyledon stage by the time the beetles become active. So, cucurbitaceous vegetable plants should be sown earlier in November. Younger plants should be rusted by ash during the months of March and April. The beetles can be collect and destroy during the morning hour in early stages of infection. Then pheromone traps can be used to control it. Use neem oil cake in the soil to kill the larvae. Second is the biological control. To control this pest, apply pupil parasites such as opius flatchery and opius compensants. You can see these two insects in the slide so they can control the pupil stage. And the last one is the chemical control. Soil drenching can be done with the contact pesticides like chlorpyrifos, spray of endosulfan or the malathion at the rate of 2 ml per litre of water for effective control and 5% pyrethrum should be dusted. The next pest we are going to study is the pumpkin fruit fly. Its zoological name is Decus cucurbiti. Regarding its taxonomic status or classification, it belongs to class Insecta, order Daptera, family Tripetidae, genus Decus, and species is cucurbiti. Next is its distribution. The Decus cucurbiti was first observed in Hawaii Island in 1898, but since 1903 it has wide range of distribution in Australia, Burma, China, East Africa, India, Japan, Malaysia and Pakistan. In India it is commonly found damaging vegetables and fruits throughout the vegetable and fruit growing areas. As far as host plants is concerned, the main host plant is pumpkin and watermelon, but it is often found on other hosts like cucumber, tori, tomato, gourd, brinjal, papaya and guava etc. Regarding its habits, this pest is active throughout the year, but its life cycle is prolonged in winter. The adult flies emerge from the pupae in the morning, mate at dusk and start laying eggs within two weeks. Winter is passed by the adult flies under the leaves. Lifespan of adult varies from two to five months. Sexual dimorphism is found in this pest. Female are longer than the males. The flies are active just after the dusk. The larva, that is maggot in this case, feed on the pulp of the fruit. Regarding the general appearance, the adult fly is reddish brown in color with yellow marking on the thorax. So you can see here in the slide, it is 7 mm in length and about 3 mm in width. The wings are transparent and have brown bands and spots at the apex. Now the life cycle. Life cycle of decus is completed in 10 to 18 days in summer and 30 to 35 days in winters. There are several overlapping generations in one year. Life cycle of fruit fly comprises four stages, eggs, larva, that is maggot in this case, pupa and adult. Let us see some more details of the life cycle. The adult female fly just after emergence meet with the male at dusk and starts egg laying within 14 days. In winter season, this oviposition period may prolong. The fly selects suitable site for egg laying, makes cavity in soft fruits, 
by the sharp ovipositor lays about 12 cylindrical white eggs mostly in the evening hours. So after laying the eggs below the epidermis of the fruit, female releases a resinous secretion which cements the tissue near the puncture and makes it waterproof. And one female can lay an average of 58 to 95 eggs in 14 to 54 days. These eggs are cigar shaped, smooth, shining and white in color. They are 0.6 mm long and 0.2 mm in width. After 1 to 9 days of incubation period, eggs are hatched into maggots, which is the larval stage. These maggots feed continuously on the pulp of the fruit, resulting in its complete destruction. They are having biting and chewing type of mouth parts. They are 11 segmented body without legs. One more interesting feature of these maggots is they can jump to a height of one foot, which helps them in dispersal. The larvae attain full grown adult stage after three days in summer and 21 days in winters. Then it leaves the fruit. Fully grown maggot is about 10 mm long and 2 mm in width. After falling down to the ground, they burrow in the soil up to the depth of about 5 cm and pupate there. The pupae are barrel shaped and light brown in color. The adult fly emerges out from the pupae in the morning hours after 6 to 9 days in rainy season and 21 to 28 days in winter. Then this life cycle is completed. As I have told you earlier that there are several overlapping generations in a year, especially active throughout the summer and autumn in the Uttar Pradesh. Now the damage. The adult flies and maggots both cause damage. Both of them feed on ripe fruits and pollute their pulp. The main damage is caused by the maggots as they are present inside the fruit and feeding on almost ripe fruits, riddling them and polluting the pulp. Maximum damage is caused in the July and August when about 50% fruits are under severe attack by this pest. The next pest we are going to study is the vegetable mite. Zoological name of this pest is Tetranicus tilarius. Regarding its taxonomic status or classification, it belongs to class Arachnida. So always keep in mind that all other pests belong to class Insecta, but as this is a mite, so it belongs to class Arachnida. Phylum is Arthropoda. So class Arachnida, order is Acarina, family is Tetranicidae. Its genus is Tetranicus and species is Tilarius. Regarding its distribution, it is distributed all over the India. In fact, throughout the world, host plants are ladies finger, brinjal, beans and okra. As far as habits are concerned, Tetranicus Tilarius are minute polyphagous pest. Polyphagous means they can feed on different type of plants, crops, fruits, vegetables. So it can feed on hundreds of plants including most vegetables, food crops like peppers, tomatoes, potatoes, beans, maize. They are present in the form of large colonies on the underside of the leaves. These are covered by fine silky fibers. Generally, males are more active than female. Mated females survive in the winter in diapause. Now, what is diapause? Diapause is defined as the arrested development in life cycle during the unfavorable conditions. So, females undergo diapause. They form numerous webs on the leaves which look unhealthy. Regarding their general appearance or the identification, vegetable mites are of variable colors. They may be of ferrignous red, greenish amber or rusty green. 
the female mite is somewhat oval in shape and bears two large pigmented spots. It is about 0.65 mm long. The adult male is slightly smaller than the female and has a narrower, more pointed abdomen. As I have told you earlier, mites are covered with a fine silky fibers. Regarding its life cycle, it is completed in 16 to 24 days in summer. There are about 15 generations in a year. Life cycle of Tetranicus tilarius consists four stages. First is eggs, second is larva, third is nymph and fourth is adult. Adult female mite lays about 60 to 80 spherical eggs in webs formed on the ventral side of the leaves of the host plant. These eggs are very small, spherical in shape and about 0.1 mm in diameter and these are covered by the silky web. Within 5 to 6 days of incubation, these eggs hatch into light brown larvae, having three pairs of legs and two red spots as eye. Larvae feed inside the webs and grow into eight-legged nymphs in three to four days. These are also known as protonymph. In next three to six days, they are converted into eutonymph and finally as nymph. Nymphs are pale yellow or pale green or beige colored with two green spots. First stage is six-legged and second stage is eight-legged. So, Nymphs undergo two molds in four to nine days and changes into adult. Adults survive for nine to eleven days and the whole life cycle is completed within nine to nineteen days. Here in this slide you can see the eggs which are very small and these are the adults as mites have clumping habit. So you can see here the clumping mites. Here you can see in this video that how they form a web and they live inside the web. Here you can see the different stages of the life cycle. You can see the eggs, names and adults. And these are the colonies. They are clumping together. This is very clear in this video. Now the damage. Larvae, names and adults. All are damage causing stages in the life cycle, but the main damage is caused by the names and the adults. All these damage causing stages suck sap from the leaves of the host plant. This leads to the blotching of the leaf due to loss of chlorophyll. And you know chlorophyll is necessary for the photosynthesis, so loss of chlorophyll adversely affect the photosynthesis of the plant. White speck marks appear on the leaves and infested leaves dry up and the fruit yield is greatly reduced. Now the next pest is the Hadda beetle. Zoological name of this pest is Epilecna vigenti octopunctata. As far as classification is concerned, it belongs to class Insecta, order Coleoptera and family Coxinellidae. Its genus is Epilecna and species is Viginti octopunctata. It is widely distributed all over the India. Its main host are solanaceous plants like brinjal, potato, tomato and also cucurbits like bitter gourd which is commonly known as Karela. Regarding its habits, Epilecna is a polyphagous pest. Pest complete 7 to 8 generation per year in plains and only 1 generation in hills. Beetles are very strong flyers so infest wide areas. Epilecna hibernates during the winter in heaps of dry plants and in March, April become active again. So in plains, pest population reach maximum from late April to early May. 
and at the onset of hot and dry conditions these beetles are unable to survive so their population falls to minimum level as far as general appearance and identification is concerned an adult hada beetle has an egg shaped smooth shining spotted body which is about 5 to 8 mm in length and 5 to 6 mm in width their prothorax is narrower than the abdomen and elytra bearing 12 to 22 spots over the abdomen and as i have told you earlier that they are strong flyers and they are polyphagous in nature regarding its life cycle life cycle of this beetle comprises four stages egg larva pupa and adult you can see all the four stages in this slide these are the eggs this is grub which is the larval stage this is pupa and this is adult let us study some more about the life cycle the adult female lays about 120 to 180 eggs in batches of 30 to 35 eggs on the ventral side of the leaf of the host plant newly laid eggs are yellow colored cigar shaped and are glued vertically to the lower leaf surface so you can see here in the slide within 2 to 3 days in summer and 4 to 9 days in winter eggs hatch into grubs that is the larval stage these grubs are light brown in color and have three pairs of legs and two red spots as eyes they are about 8 mm in length after four moltings they grow completely the grubs pupate into squat yellow pupae which are attached head downward to leaves and stem of the host plant so they are yellow orange in color and present lower surface of the leaf or to the stem pupal period last for 7 to 14 days and then this pupa converted into adult and the life cycle is completed now the damage the adults and grubs both are destructive stages of the life cycle both of them present on the ventral side of the leaves the adults feed on the leaves in a semi circular pattern in rows whereas grubs nibble and scrap the upper surface of the leaves this skeletonizes the leaves which gives a characteristic lace like appearance the infested leaves then dry up and fall off sometime resulting into complete defoliation of the plant in this video you can see that how the adult damage the leaves you can see these are the grubs nibble and scrap the upper surface of the leaves and these are the skeletonized leaves having lace like appearance and they are dry up and the whole crop is spoiled according to one research these insect pests are responsible for destroying one fifth of the global crop output annually in india the losses due to the insect pests have come down from 23.3% in the post green revolution era to 15.7% now this loss calculates to around 36 billion us dollar so this is all about the pests of vegetable and now in this session we are going to discuss about the how different questions may be framed from this chapter these questions are in two categories one is very short answer type questions which you have to answer in two to three lines or sometime in a single word and this will cover up the first compulsory question of your paper and second category is of short answer type questions which you have to answer in a single paragraph so let us discuss the questions first of all very short answer type questions and the first question from this category is what is the zoological name of hada beetle next is name various stages of life cycle of alucophora next is what is the mode of damage caused by red pumpkin beetle 
Next is enlist two morphological features of red pumpkin beetle. Next question is state the difference between grub and maggot. Next is Tetranicus is an arachnid, not an insect. Why? Next question is Write the systematic position of pumpkin fruit fly. Next is the short answer type questions. And first question from this category is Discuss the mode of damage caused by pumpkin fruit fly. Next question is Write the damage caused by red pumpkin beetle, how it can be controlled. Next question is Enlist the habits and the damage caused by Hadda beetle. Next question is Describe the life cycle of Olecophora. Next is Write the taxonomic status of Hadda beetle and pumpkin fruit fly. And the last question from this category is Write the systematic position and habits of vegetable mites. Do all the questions, make a PDF and send it to concerned teacher in your college. This will help you in examination. Goodbye. Thank you.